So this is the ramp modulator and it generates a ramp over time and looping is optional. And you can see we have here a time frame we can change or which course the ramp modulator modulates from zero to one. And you can change this in milliseconds here up to 10 seconds. So it's um, yeah, probably also nice for creating swells for ambient. And uh, then we have here a 16 node grid toggle. So we can switch this on and now we can see it's synchronized to our beat grid or to our project tempo. So now we have here four 16 nodes as a time frame. So this modulator ramp modulates from zero to one over a time frame of four 16 nodes. And this goes up to 32 nodes. And then we have here a modulation amount. So instead of, you know, clicking this modulating something and change how much you modulate something you can also just modulate over the full course of the knob and then you can change here the amount with the slider if you want to. Then we have a looping thing here and this modulator is re-triggered every time you press a key on the keyboard or send a note in. Also you can press multiple notes as a chord as you can see it's a polyphonic modulator and when you change here the time frame maybe to 4 or 16 notes can see it's go it goes up and then it stays at one as long as you press or hold the note but you can switch to a looping mode here so we have this looping so polyphonic looping ramp modulator it's kind of an lfo when you have the looping on when you switch this off it's kind of an envelope that triggers one time and then that's it um, you can also change the direction of this here, of the ramp. So you go from one to zero instead of zero to one. So um, yeah, it's kind of rocks like an envelope, like I said. Um, then you can change the curve here to bend this a bit if you want to. Double click um, goes back to the default. And also you have something in the inspector here, single trigger, and this only works when this modulator is in monophonic mode. To switch this to monophonic mode, you have to select the modulator here, go to the inspector on the left side and disable the pair voice option. So now it becomes here a line instead of dots. These polyphonic dots um, becomes now a line. And every time you send a note in, you re-trigger here basically the shape. But the problem is when you hold one note, and then you press another note, it re-triggers basically this shape here. And if you don't want to do that, then you select single trigger. So every time you press a key and hold the key and then you press another key, it doesn't re-trigger. So that's maybe some sometimes important for you. Um, let's uh, switch this back here to backwards. And as you can see, you can modulate your something like this. So it's in shape and it's uh, looping. It's an LFO basically. And yeah, not only that you can modulate something like this and use it like an LFO or an envelope, but you can also use it like an um, phase signal inside the grid. Inside the grid, you get a ramp signal from the transport exactly like that here, going from zero to one. And also this one is now synchronized to our project tempo here, which is one out of 10. And you can, for instance, use this also as a positioning signal for the steps mod here. And I showed you this in a video, how this kind of um, modulator work. Um, but when you switch this here to hold, um, or also if you have this here maybe at 16 notes, and you can see it's not playing, right? You need to hit playback here on the transport to keep this going. So if you switch this here to hold, can now use or utilize the phase modulation here to change the position of this um, playback bar but you can also use now here the ramp signal and use it exactly like in the grid to modulate um, the playback position of something so we modulate this here you can see we have now here this whole pattern or sequence playing back over the course of eight 16 notes. If you want to go down to four, you can see it's going faster because now we need to squeeze this into four 16 notes. So you can change the playback. You can also um, 
synchronize basically a steps mod here to um, the ramp signal, which is synchronized with the transport. You can also hit reverse here, so it plays back, right? Or you can bring in some swing, kind of swing. Um, yeah, and can use this kind of a positioning signal. This also works, of course, very nice on the sampler. I showed this also in a separate video. The link is in the description, how you can use the ramp modulator, I think, to uh, modulate the playback speed of a sample. And you can use that to stretch maybe drum loops out and synchronize drum loops stretched uh, to your project tempo.